time to musk up. Wow. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I want to do a quick video uh, about the city exclusive uh, exclusives that I tried, the Labo. Uh, which ones I tried because they don't have all of them. Um, also, a couple of uh, other releases. Um, well, actually, one other release from Tom Ford. So, I want to start off by saying it seems like Lalabo has this aesthetic, uh, I guess you can say, uh, Lalabo aid. What I feel I'm getting from a lot of them in the base, uh, some more than others, that is the mix of musks and broxen iso e and um incense it seems like i get a lot of that towards the base some of some others sometimes it's the whole fragrance uh for instance another 13 uh the Embret one uh Gaiac, musk i even got some of it in tabac uh moose to chen um and it seems it's like all those notes are kind of mass appealing and they put them all together and it just makes this like like the boss of all bosses for mass appealing fragrances um like another 13 although i'm not I don't care about compliments that you know I don't go fishing for them but another 13 is one of those fragrances that just with people catch a whiff of it they they love what they smell um, it, the other part is what I love about them is is that they don't assault your nose the whole day that you're wearing them uh, they kind of disappear and they'll come back and it'll hit you um, which I enjoy that, you know, you don't want to smell your fragrance, you know, the whole eight hours. Um, so yeah, so that's just for starters, um, as far as what I think about Lulabo. Um, so the first one I tried, well, I have here is Tabac, um, a different kind of, um, tobacco because there's no sweetness here there's a pinch of it but not uh, much um, so tobacco and got a little bit of this uh, cognac or uh, rum was one of the notes um, incense a little smoky um, kind of a greenish tobacco um, I enjoyed it because it was different. I'm kind of sick and tired of all these sweet uh, tobacco fragrances. And um, this one kind of reminded me of their Oud fragrance. And the reminder, the reminder that I got from it was in the Oud fragrance, it kind of feels like you take a, a, a cloth, a damp cloth from a bar, and that's the cloth that they've been using to wipe down, you know, the tequila rum and all the alcohol throughout the day that's what like oud smells like but that one is on a higher level that's what i got from tabak but in the background though it's not the forefront like uh the oud is which is different it's nice you know um i definitely get some spice i don't know maybe like a cardamom or i always get like a clove as well a little kind of medicinal in a way so nice enjoyed it um the other one that i really liked was moose to chen and i thought this one was interesting because typically when you think of oak moss you think of the old powerhouse fragrances um and typically they're very sharp and abrasive rough around the edges um but the oak moss here is none of that it's really smooth um, I think it's kind of mixed in with the Gayak wood, uh, also incense uh, musky, uh, iso -y. 
and Broxen thing that they have going on. And I got pink pepper, a lot of pepper. I got a lot of pepper. I get this kind of patchouli, but it's like the cleanest patchouli that you could like ever think of. And which is, I think makes it very interesting. So the next one that I think is, I think is one of their best sellers as far as city exclusives, and that is Gaiac 10. And this one is one of the more, uh, Lilabo aids that I was talking about. So this one has got the Gaiac wood, a little smooth, kind of smoky, uh, incense -y kind of woodiness. And you got your, uh, you know, the typical culprits, the ISO E, uh, musks. I think they said there's like four musks in this. So kind of like an ambretti, uh, civet kind of uh, musk. So, you get a little animalic purr here. It's very light. Um, and this is a kind of peekaboo kind of fragrance. I could see this being a great kind of uh, meditation or bedtime kind of scent. Like, this is very nice, very enjoyable. I can see this getting compliments out the at wazoo. <laughs> really good. And, uh... The other one was um, Musk 25, I think. And this is just a compilation of Musk's Musk, Musk, Musk. Um, I get some uh, the aldehydes here. Um, this is definitely a little soapy, uh, a little sweet, of course, a little musky. Um, I think they they said there's a lily of the valley in here. You know, this is an overly floral. Um, I, it possibly might be adding to the freshness, the soapiness, um, and texture. And definitely get a flow of incense in this as well. And um, at some point, the animalic musk is here but it's f very short period of time towards the beginning but now it's kind of gone away and now it's like another musk comes in um it's it's interesting um you know this might seem like basic and easy but there's really nothing else like this on the market. Uh, this is comparable if you, um, I don't know what by Diaz and Derga. Kind of like this, but that's like a perfume enhancer. And um, I don't think uh, this one smells better. The other one has a lot more of that, uh, that civet musk. Civitol or something like that. It's called the aroma chemical. Um, I get a lot more of that animalic musk in that one. And plus there's less notes in that one. And there's a boatload of ISOE super in that. Fantastic. And the other one I actually tried. It was on a blotter though. Um, the new ombre leather uh, parfum. I actually really liked it. Um, I thought it basically the parfum isn't uh, I don't think it's a stronger version um, it, it's basically typically a lot of the parfums what they'll do is they'll they'll round off the edges they'll lower the sharpness levels um, from the older release so ombre leather the original is you know it was quite rugged leather this one the leather is toned down and i think they used kind of some some musks and the violets and the iris uh to round off those edges uh and the sharpness uh, from the original ombre leather and made it very smooth 
uh, very sensual. Uh, I thought it was really nice. Uh, so it's definitely worth a try. Um, you know, I can't say what happens, you know, in the mid and the dry down, but from what I tried off the top, uh, it was really nice. So uh, yeah, so that was just some of my first impressions on the um, city exclusives and the Tom Ford Ombre leather. And uh, we'll see if I get any. All right, guys, take care. Peace.